Hello, my friends. I'm Pastor Doug, and it's my joy to visit with you again. Today, we want to talk about staying in love with God. We're concluding our three-week uh, devotional series uh, as we looked at John Wesley's three simple rules. These three simple rules provide a foundation for Christian living. The three rules are do no harm, do good, stay in love with God. When understood and practiced, these 10 words can transform us and the world around us. When taken to heart, these rules will help you lead a more faithful journey as a disciple of Jesus Christ. Today, we conclude with the third rule, stay in love with God. You know, as I speak to you, we're on the downhill side of Vacation Bible School. Wesley Church has been granted the privilege of showing the love of Jesus and sharing the good news with over 50 children from our community. They've learned each day that Jesus will pull them through tough times, that they are loved by Jesus, and that they can trust Jesus to be there for them 24-7. I certainly want to thank Amy Whitworth for leading VPS and her amazing team that has been blessing these children. We played and prayed our way through an awesome week. I also want to thank you, thank our supporters who through their financial gifts and donations made all of this possible. Thank you, my friends, one and all for what we've done in sharing the gospel here in the community of Marysville. Well, you know what? Many of you know that I play the string bass, but did you know that I've been playing since third grade? That's right. You know how many hours of practice, weekly lessons, and years uh, that, it, that I have invested in to enjoying uh, this wonderful uh, way of sharing music as, um, you know, and, and all the work that goes into honing those skills. But my friends, without practice or lessons, it would have never happened. This last rule, stay in love with God, is all about leading a disciplined life that keeps us connected to God. Just like I had to invest myself into learning how to play a bass, we need to invest ourselves in to staying connected with God. In fact, John Wesley went as far as saying he believed it was impossible to follow Christ without the spiritual disciplines of prayer, worship, Bible reading and study and fasting. You know, we try to make things simple, but yet sometimes we make them hard. I think that staying in love with God is just the same thing that we do as we nurture our personal relationships with friends and family. It's like how I nurture my relationship with my wife, too. You know what? It means sharing meals together, daily walks, and regular conversations. It means that we're intentional and disciplined about making time for one another and having each other's back. You know what happens when our lives get too busy? and we neglect one another, things just aren't right between us. Our relationship suffers until one of us calls back to our sustaining routines. You see, these things aren't optional, but absolutely necessary for a healthy and growing relationship that we've shared now for over 32 years. We need to long and share and be with one another. It reminds me of the psalmist words in Psalm 42 verses one and two. As a deer longs for flowing streams, so my soul longs for you, O oh God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When shall I come and behold the face of God? My friends, we're in the middle of summer. You know how it is when, when we're, we, we're longing for a cool drink on a hot summer day? Well, that's how you and I need to long for God. But it doesn't just happen by good intentions. Like D and I, we must act intentionally to take time for one another, and we must act intentionally to make time for God. And so my friends, I wanna encourage you to set aside time each day to stay in touch with God. We need to guard that time and honor, with, honor it with our presence. The devil would like nothing more than for us to see the busyness of our daily lives push God aside. Join me and Christians that for centuries have led holy lives marked by regular prayer time, weekly gathering for worship as a community of faith, and digging into God's word 
personally and in group settings that we might learn from one another. You know what, my friends? When we read and study our Bible, it allows us to encounter the living God as he speaks through his word and speaks into each of our lives. I hope that this has been helpful while looking at these short devotionals on the three simple rules. Let's all strive to love God and to love our neighbor as we do no harm, do good, and stay in love with God. Amen. I have a couple of announcements to share with you today. We have a relatively new ministry called Mom to Moms uh, that is getting ready to reboot, to get back together. Um, this Mom to Mom ministry supports mothers of children of all ages. They are having their first in-person gathering on August 11th at 6.30 p.m. For more information, please uh, talk with Amy Whitworth. And we're still looking for a few folks to step up and be ministry partners to visit Schaffner Detention Center once a month, where you'll provide a Bible lesson and a time of discussion for these youth. Again, if you have questions or want more information, please talk to Amy Whitworth. Well, my friends, it was so good, so good to see you today and to share this time with you. Let's close, to close our time together with prayer. Let us pray. Loving God, we seek to love you with all of our heart, our soul, our mind, and strength. Make your presence known to us and guide us in our longings. Help us to lead disciplined lives of prayer, worship, and Bible reading and study. Help us to stay in love with you. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for visiting with me today. We'll talk again soon, and may the peace of God be with you. Please stay strong and stay safe. Bye-bye.